Hi everybody. So this is the front exhaust manifold off of a 2006 Chevy Uplander with a 3.5 liter V6 engine. And this Uplander developed a problem where it had an exhaust leak coming from this front cylinder. Uh, you can see all the exhaust uh, carbon that was blowing out past the gasket and how rotted it got. Uh, but it actually was not the gasket that failed, uh, but it was the exhaust uh, manifold mounting studs uh, that broke off. And because they broke, then you had a little bit of excessive gap at this end of the exhaust manifold when it would heat up, and then that's what caused the gasket to fail. So these are the two studs that broke. And these are the two pieces of stud that I got out of the cylinder head. Uh, getting them out was, uh, in hindsight, was actually pretty easy. Uh, basically, I just drilled them with a 1 8 inch left-handed drill bit. So this drill bit is designed to turn to the left instead of to the right. And then I used an easy out. Uh, in this case, it's a Hansen uh, that uses a 1 8 drill. So you basically just you drill into the stud, put in the easy out, and then the easy out, you know, it's lefty loosey, so left goes out. Turn it to the left with a half inch wrench. So these two studs here were installed. You know, one was, one was in the top, one was in the bottom, however they were. And that's where they broke off at. So basically, you know, not even through the gasket. Get that in there. Here we go. Just like that. Uh, and actually, when I took this all apart on the vehicle, uh, these were just laying in the bottom of the heat shield. So they weren't even doing anything. And of course, the studs were broken off inside the cylinder head. Uh, so when you look at this while it's still installed in the vehicle and you hear the exhaust leak, uh, it sounds like the gasket failed, uh, which, you know, eventually it did. Uh, but you think when you're getting into the job that, oh, I just have to get the manifold off, replace the gasket. Uh, but it actually turns out to be studs also. Uh, so here's what happened to it. Uh, it's all rotted on this end, and actually it looks like it separated here and started to rust in between the layers of steel, because there's definitely a lot of corrosion inside the layers there, which was probably caused by water getting in there and carbon getting onto the steel and causing it to puff out. Uh, and then we move down, see how these are actually in pretty good shape for these last two cylinders. Now another problem I had in disassembling this whole thing was these three studs for the crossover pipe. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, when you go to take these nuts off, uh, just use a socket and take them off. Um, the mistake I made was trying to use heat to remove them and I ended up snapping the studs off. So these used to be installed right here. So one there and there was one there. Uh, but I tried, I tried using heat. I thought that these nuts would not come off unless I heated them. Uh, so that's what I did, and it ended up just twisting the stud right off. Uh, so now I had to order new ones, and you can get them. They don't cost that much, but there's not a lot of GM dealers that stock these. So it's a pretty long delay time to get these new studs. Not a lot of people doing engine rebuild work on Chevy Uplanders anymore. So there's the deal with that. Uh, and then of course, 
you know, these are the studs and bolts that were holding the rest of it on. And as you can see, the end of the stud is the part that rusts really bad. And again, I did not try using heat on these uh, after what happened here. And they did just turn right out. Uh, but you see the nuts did not come off of the studs, but instead the studs came right out of the head. So whatever kind of coating GM puts on these studs, uh, whatever they use, it's probably some kind of electroplating that they put on here. Uh, it does not corrode between these steel studs and the aluminum cylinder head. Uh, and they were able to come out really easily. And you can see even here where they snapped off, you know, it really didn't take a lot of pressure uh, with the easy out to get these things removed. Uh, they actually came out pretty easily. So there you have it. Front exhaust manifold and how it fails for a 2006 Chevy Uplander. So if you have this, if you have this vehicle and you have an exhaust leak coming from this front exhaust port, maybe this is what happened on your van. So pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.